I'm talking to you about punctuation rules, commas. What are commas? Where do we use commas? What are the rules in using commas? Rule number one, use commas to separate words and word groups with a series of three or more. For example, share these chocolates with your sister, your brother and your cousin. Rule number two, use commas before the name or title of a person directly addressed. For example, will you, Amanda, return that book before Friday? Can you, Peter, finish the assignment soon? Rule number three, use a comma to separate the day of the month from the year and after the year. For example, Brian met his wife on September 28, 2009 in Boston. But there is an exception. That is when a part of the date is omitted. Then leave out the comma. For example, Brian met his wife in 2009. Rule number three. Use a comma to separate the city from the state. For example, I live in Manhattan, New York. She lives in Phoenix, Arizona. Rule number five. Use a comma to separate two adjectives. For example, she is young. She is a young, beautiful girl. If the word and is inserted between young and and, that is between the two adjectives, we do not use a comma. For example, she is a young and beautiful girl. Rule number six. Use a comma after phrases of more than three words that begin a sentence. For example, on January 1st, people all over the world celebrate the new year. To get good results, you must study hard. Rule number seven, use a comma to separate a city from a state. For example, she has been working in Annapolis, Maryland during the last five years. But if a two-letter capitalized form is used in a sentence, a comma is not necessary. For example, she is working in Annapolis, MD, during the last five years. Rule number eight, use a comma to separate independent clauses joined by a coordinating conjunction. And, but, so, yet, for, or, no. For example, I finished studying, but I will not attend the party. I may accept your business proposal or I may reject it. Rule number eight, rule number nine, use commas to set off expressions that interrupt sentence flow. For example, he is, as mentioned earlier, the best person to do this job. Then we go to rule number 10. Use commas to surround degrees or titles used with names. For example, Monica Witzel, MD, was in college with Azar Senior and Mike Stewart II. Here, commas are used to surround degrees or titles which are used along with names. Rule number 11. Use a comma when starting a sentence with a weak cross. For example, if she is not attending the meeting, please inform the secretary. Do not use a comma if the sentence starts with a strong cross followed by a weak cross. For example, please inform the secretary if she is not attending the meeting. Rule number 12. Use a comma when an adjective L-Y is used with other adjectives. For example, Lisa is a lovely, beautiful girl. Aditya is a lively, handsome boy. There we use commas because an adjective L-Y is used with other adjectives. Rule number 13. 
number 30, use a comma to separate words and word groups with a series of three or more. For example, Nelly divided 20 exercise books among her sister, brother, cousins and her friend. But if the comma is omitted after cousin, the meaning will be completely different. It would mean that cousins and the friend have to divide the exercise books among themselves. Rule number 14. Use commas to introduce or interrupt direct quotations which are shorter than three lines. For example, where she asked, do you hope to build a house? Rule number 15, use a comma surrounding words such as however and therefore when they are used as interruptives. For example, I would be glad, however, to accept your invitation. Rule number 16, Use a comma to separate a statement from a question. For example, I can swim in the pool, can't I? You said you can drive, can't you? Rule number 17. Use a comma when beginning sentences with introductory words. Now, well, yes, etc. For example, well, I decided not to attend the meeting. Yes, I agree with him. Rule number 18, use a comma to separate contrasting parts of a sentence. For example, this is Monica's book, not Michelle's. That is Shah Shah's Ka, not Dave's. Rule number 19, use a comma to separate items in a list, nouns or adjectives. For example, David bought vegetables, meat, fish, cheese, milk and chocolates at the supermarket. Misha is a young, beautiful, lively girl. Thank you.